Hey everyone, welcome back to Rig Tag Stacking. Uh, in today's video, I want to talk a little bit about uh, physical gold and silver versus uh, paper gold and silver. Now, I am a silver stacker, so uh, I'm obviously into picking up the physical stuff. I do uh, primarily stack silver. If you've watched my channel for any amount of time, you do know that I uh, I do like uh, I do like my silver, but I have been picking up gold as well. So uh, you know, those are the two metals that I am currently stacking. But if you're new to precious metals in general, uh, you might have heard the term you know paper gold and silver uh, and not to exactly know uh, know what it is so I'm just going to uh, put up a little clip here just to uh, quickly uh, just to go over exactly what it is now uh, physical that makes sense you know what I mean this is this uh, thing is for gold but it's uh, the same uh, is true for silver as well so it says uh, physical gold is the kind of gold you can hold in your hand you know the bars and the bullion coins and all that stuff that we have uh, in this case in the case of physical gold you you own it you know what I mean you can have it in your hands and uh, you know there's always that adage um, if you don't hold it you don't own it and that's what a lot of stackers go by uh, sorry I, the, the the milk spots on these Britannias uh, get me every time uh, but I love the coins, so I like uh, I like displaying it here whenever I can it's just yeah the the 2021's milk spot uh, quite a bit so yes, obviously the uh, the physical is pretty self-explanatory, but it goes in here. It says by contrast, paper gold most commonly reflects the price of gold, but only in the form of a paper asset. In other words, a piece of paper is essentially a substitute for physical gold. Types of paper gold include exchange trade funds, gold futures, and gold options. Think of paper gold as a bit of a catch-all term for buying these types of gold-related assets. So it's good that they mentioned this, uh, the, the catch-all. Uh, I use catch-all terms quite a bit where I'm saying one thing, but you know, kind of referring to another. Uh, so when you hear paper gold, it is referring to all of those different, uh, basically non-physical. If you think physical as just the stuff that you can have in your hands, and uh, paper being any other type of uh, investment in the gold and silver other than physical. This causes a problem when you look at what the ratio is. There is a physical to paper ratio. And uh, when you look at the, uh, the gold silver ratio, I think currently uh, the gold silver ratio I believe the last time I saw it was like 76 to one, where it's uh, 76 ounces of silver to equal one ounce of gold. I know a lot of people are more familiar and hear a lot more on these stacking channels about the, the GSR, the gold-silver ratio, but they do have uh, the physical and paper ratios for both gold and silver. And I was, uh, well, I guess not too surprised. It, it does make sense that they would kind of be in the same ballpark, uh, but uh, I was just uh, surprised by exactly how much it was and uh, for silver 250 to 1 there's 250 to 1 that's the ratio for so that means that there could be up to 250 claims paper claims on that one physical ounce of gold so it's true what stackers say obviously like I said before if you don't hold it you don't own it and uh, it just keeps going up and up and that's where you see a lot of the manipulation happening when you hear about uh, prices being manipulated. It's a lot easier to manipulate it on the paper side when all you can do is just keep writing it up, you know, out of nowhere, where with the physical side, it's an actual tangible thing you can hold in your hands. You can't just hold one of these uh, Queen's Virtue um, coins and say that, uh, you know, there's 15 owners to this one coin. No, it is in my hand. This one ounce of silver is mine. But once you get out of the physical realm and into the paper, it's a whole different story. And that's where a lot of that manipulation comes in. Now for gold, they didn't have, it said 250 to one for silver. And I looked up for gold. They have it a little bit uh, different. They didn't have it definitive. They said anywhere from 200 to 250 to one is what the, uh, the paper, was what the physical gold versus paper gold is. I actually did a video recently on, uh, uh, it was a gold trader just talking about how easy it is to manipulate uh, the markets and how easy it is to uh, to swing the prices. I believe it was Merrill Lynch. There was a few traders in, in Merrill Lynch that were basically just, uh, you know, insider trading. The, they would have um, uh, holding for gold and they would sell it at a certain price. So obviously these, you know, they would be making a profit from it, but uh, they would be talking with other people that were looking to make a purchase. 
So they would be selling off all of this, you know, non-existent gold. It's all this paper gold that they've just written up out of nowhere. So they're selling all of this off, obviously for a profit, and then the price is going way down. They're contacting the people that are looking to buy. They're saying, hey, just let you know, uh, I'm selling all of this and it's going to be basically moving it to whatever, 5 10% down. If you're looking to buy, then buy it. So it's all, they're all just kind of working together and, uh, you know, as I said, it's good to see them go to jail when they do. That's the type of manipulation you see. And uh, the type of jail sentences that these people are getting are obviously not acting as a deterrent because you just keep seeing more and more people in more and more of these situations where it's, you know, the manipulation is getting out of hand. And unfortunately, I really don't have uh, an answer. I don't have a way that this can be fixed. I know everyone's saying, oh, manipulation will only stop when they get rid of the paper side. I 100% agree with that sentiment. I just don't know how to, you know, put implement it. I don't know how you would go about getting rid of all of the, the paper and gold, silver, uh, you know, like overnight. That's It doesn't seem like something that can be done. And uh, I'm hoping people that are a lot smarter than me can actually come up with a, a solution for this because uh, you know it's a problem that's only going to be getting worse uh, if you, you just don't do anything about it and don't pay attention to it and then you know you can start seeing those ratios go up to 300 to 1 or 350 to 1 whatever it is whatever they need to do uh, you know there it's not the the little stackers like us that are going to be making the big swings and making the uh, the, the big movements in the markets it's the big wigs, the higher ups, the ones that have all of the uh, the leverage and all of the money uh, that can manipulate the paper markets that they do. Those are the ones that are set in the terms right now. So uh, you just kind of have to grin and bear it if you're in the market for picking up physical gold and silver. The price is going to be determined by you know a lot of what's going on on the paper side. But anyways, let me know in the comments what you think. I'd love to hear anybody's uh, idea on what a, uh, a realistic solution to this problem could be. Like I said, I'm not educated enough on the uh, on the topic to make a uh, uh, to make a, a statement as oh, this is how we're going to wipe it out, and it's it's simple. This I have no idea. So if you guys have any idea how this problem could be curtailed, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Also, I'd like to hear if you do take advantage of uh, the non-physical side of the metals. I do know that uh, a lot of people are into the, you know, the ETFs and things like that and uh, getting into the markets. I like looking at the market analysis and some of, uh, some of those channels where, they're, where they are looking at the metal markets. I don't have any of the paper, uh, gold, or silver, like I said, I'm mainly with the uh, the physical stuff. But if you are looking at picking up the physical stuff, the paper side is something that you should at least be aware of on what it's doing because that does uh, uh, drive the cost of the spot price quite a bit. And that's something that I'm constantly looking at. So if uh, if I can get a little bit more education on what's moving that spot price, uh, you know, the more the better. But anyways, I've been rambling long enough today, so uh, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching, and I uh, hope you come back for the next one. Thank you.